everybody. And today, first of all, I would like to say so a deep be mind to everybody because today is 13 of April, which is literally Thai New Year's, which we call Songkran. So the topic today is we're going to talk about nine facts about Songkran Festival. Let's start. The fact number one is Songkran is Thai's New Year, which is every 13 of April. So normally Thai people will have long holiday for like three or four days from 12 or 13 to 15 or 16 of April. So actually now during the COVID, I only I already have the long holiday, but if I was working, then I would have like four or three, three or four days, something like that. So that's the fact number one. And then the fact number two is, do you know that Songkran is not Thai word? Actually, Songkran is Sanskrit word, which means move or movement, which refers to the movement of the sun from one position to another position in the zodiac. The fact number three. I think you know that there are too many activities during Songkran Day, but Songkran Day starts in the very early morning. So we will make the merit at the temple. So normally we will sit the local temple and then also offering food to the monks. When I was young, every Songkran festival, I went back to my grandparents' house, which is like quite close to Bangkok. So, but I remember that during Songkran, in the morning, my grandparents would wake me up early in the morning, then go to the temple together, and then offering food, listen to the monk chant, something like that, which is very nice. And that's the fact number three. And the fact number four, still at the temple, after making marriage, offering food to the monks, we will do something that we call Song Nam Pra, Song Nam Pra, which is we are gonna pour water gently to the Buddha image. This represents the purification and something like washing away sin and bad luck from yourself. Fact number five. So people who move away from home will usually return back to their home to see the family so for example as i told you before when i was young when i was in bangkok with my mom and my sister i actually went back to visit my grandparents every song grande fact number six sorry c which is paying reverence to our enchanter this is a very, very important part. Let's say that in the FIP, I told you that people who have moved away will go back home to see their families. That's because we're going to do this activity, which is called Rot Nam Dam Hua. Rot Nam Dam Hua. So we will mix like water with the traditional Thai perfume to the water. And then we'll be gently pouring it to our enchanter hands. And then also at the same time, we will bless them like, I wish you have a good life. I wish you live, live long, stay with me forever. I wish for the happiness for you. And also the most important thing that our enchanters will bless us back. So in Thailand, for, for Thai people, we believe that the place from enchanter from your parents, from your grandparents is the best is the best wishes in the world. So this is very meaningful for us. And then the fact number seven, this is the very popular and famous part of Songgran Festival, which someone call it water festival because we're gonna splash water all over Thailand. Well, not every single square meter. So normally in the past, we didn't have the water fighting like this. We, we didn't use the water gun. We didn't use the, like, the bucket to throw the water to each other. But we did like very gently. So we gently pour water on the shoulder, on the shoulder of someone else. So very gentle, but it has been changed for a while. So anyway, it's very fun for the water fighting. I think you should join. And the fact number eight, during Song Grand Day, we will use the chalk, the white chalk, which we call 
ดินสอพองดินสอพอง Normally we use this chalk for to make the mark blessing like ปะปะปะปะปะปะ like that but nowadays we 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 use some people use the powder instead which is okay but this upon is the original one <laughs> the last fact fact number nine so fact number nine uh, it's called the sand pagoda during song grande in the past is is it popular very popular in the past that we're gonna build the sand pagoda at the temple decorate it with the flower and we have the contest yeah for that i never win though when i was young i still see see the place see the sand pagoda activity around my local temple so that's for today i hope it enjoyable knowledgeable well i hope you enjoy watching the video and see you in the next video bye bye สวัสดีค่ะ